morning. We're at the Okefenokee Heritage Center. I said we're here, but you know we're really not. We're out here in the woods, and it's absolutely wonderful to be out here. We have the very great privilege of being at the Carl James Place, and he is carrying on a tradition that is absolutely wonderful, and I'm delighted that he's doing it because it's something that is really profound in South Georgia. And this gentleman standing right here is Carl James. He's a small fellow, you know, he makes me feel better, so I stand by him, but we appreciate him allowing us to be here today. And what he's doing is he's cooking syrup. Did I say that right? That's right. Balling syrup. That's better, probably. All right. Making cane syrup. There you go. And if you look behind us, you'll see the cane syrup has been ground. And it goes through the grinder there, and I'm going to let him just tell a little bit about what he's doing today. Well, uh, feel free to ask any questions, but uh, the tractor, this mill is powered by the tractor. It's, uh, it was a, an animal-powered mill to begin with, and someone converted it to uh, the PTO power so that it will turn it from the tractor. Uh, save us a lot of work. For a lot of years, we used the uh, mill like it was first built with a what you call a sweep, a pole sitting on top and you pull it around and around and that's what provides the power. You know, I always wondered how they got the horse to always go in the circle. I, well, I figured that's, he'd that's, want to carry off, take yeah, off out there, but he kept going around and around. That's the only way he could go because he was attached to the pole and the pole was attached to the pole was so, That's right, so, okay. so he could only go in one direction. But, uh, we did that for a lot of years. A couple of years ago, I got this set up. And uh, if you like, we can demonstrate that, how that works. All right. How much cane do you grow? Probably a half acre or so. And That's how good. much syrup will you make off that half acre? I usually, uh, from year to year, I do about 10 boilings. Oh, really? About 10 cookings uh, here. But this year, I don't think I have that much. It's been real dry. Yeah. I don't have yeah. as much rain as we yeah. need. The thing needs water, don't it? It does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. It's, it's hard. And is there a kind of cane that you normally use? I don't know about cane. I've got three or four different kinds. I don't really know their official name, but I've got a red cane and a couple of different green canes. One of them is softer. The red cane is somewhat softer, and uh, it's easier to grind. It's easier to cut, but the uh, green cane is real hard, but it makes lighter colored juice, and lighter colored juice makes lighter colored syrup. So I mix it all together. I grind the people see the flavor there. I'm, whenever you get through with your syrup, I know some of the people now add corn syrup to it to kind of keep it from sugar. Corn. Sugar. Yeah. You do that or you get I, I do it both ways. Some both people ways. like the, uh, the, the uh, pure syrup taste, and that's what we're doing today. Yesterday, the syrup we made, I put corn syrup in it. It's about 20% uh, by volume corn syrup. But it, Keeps it uh, more stable, you know, for the shelf or whatever. It doesn't uh, want sugar and uh, just yeah, helps, it, helps it to last longer. Yeah, it, that was a big problem they had with the. Uh, well, every time I ever saw cane syrup, it always sugared. We didn't eat it fast enough. I don't know if that was good or bad. <laughs> you know, the sugar usually wound up around my 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 part here. That was the problem with it. Well, if you want to uh, grind some up there, we'll watch it. See what it. What it does. Okay.
I, I started this morning about 6.15. It takes about two and a half uh, hours to, to fill this. I have to have this barrel and two five-gallon buckets of juice. You have your bowl of course to have the floor. Okay. That's good, man. That shows us exactly what you're doing. This, uh, when was, you got any idea when that thing might have been made? <laughs> most, most of those were made. Yeah, I know. <laughs> most of those were made. Uh, I wish you, you should. Did you, you didn't get a cup and catch you some? No, that's all right. No, you need to taste it. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy, yeah. just do a little bit more because Papa wants to uh, tell. Right. Do maybe two more, Carl. Oh, that's good. He did good. Wait till you get some cold milk. Yeah, it is. Freezing it beans. Is when it's, yeah, on <laughs> yeah. a, on a, like she said, on a good cold morning, it's cold. Mm, it tastes it is good. good. I can actually remember when I was growing up, you know, I'm a young man too, uh -huh. but it was very cold. Whenever they did the cane grinding to make yes. some syrup. Very cold. Very cold. And the fingers of scrubs beat the yeah. meal. And, but that's some of the best. That's something good. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. I agree. All right. Daddy, daddy yeah, well, and, and I'm on it. I'll, while you're working it, I'll get me and your daddy. Yeah, get a picture for him, I think. Big 
operation. That he's talked about before, right in the middle of surf, making that they had stopped, clean up, and butcher a few hogs, yeah. and then clean up, go right back to making surf. He'll tell you about that. All right. But he said they used to, because they had a lot of boards, a lot of help, but they used to cook four bullets one day, three the next, and all the day back and forth like that for over a month. Now, you know, we'd be good to get one of that. I would like to thank Carl James for letting us come to his place today and when we get through with Carl here we're going to talk with his dad and his mom for just a minute but I, if you're from Ware County you recognize his name but if you're not from Ware County Carl is our chief law enforcement officer in the county and we'd like to thank him as Ware Countyans for the job that he is sheriff and for the job that his men and women do every day and we, we are very appreciative of it so thank you so much thank you i appreciate that now we're going to talk to the man that knows something <laughs> this is this is uh this is mr james here and uh this is his daddy and this is ma and she knows she probably knows more than he does <laughs> probably do <laughs> she's been taking care of you long enough hasn't she yeah yes sir all right, and you told me you were 88? Right. Uh, how old are you, Mom? I'm 77. You no, 76. You 76. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Were you born in Ware County? He was yes, born sir. on this place. This really? Place. This is the home place. I was born in that old, old house. It's still up there. Still up, up there. All right. Were you born in the hospital or were you born at home? I born at home. You were born at home? Right. Okay, most of the people in this narrow age group in this transition were, were going somewhere home, some were... were, were and, all right, were you reared on the farm? Yes. Were your parents farmers all the time? Yes, sir. Okay, and, and you farmed all the time? Yes, sir, for many years. Uh, up until the last, last uh, few years, I, I went to be wee in Homerville. Right you worked at Spatola okay. for okay. worked, worked there for 33 years. But Did you, you really? But you worked yeah. at Spatola's five years before yeah. you went to Speedway. Yeah. Okay. Standard container back okay. right then. Okay. All right. So you know what farming's like too, and you know what working in working in yes. town's like too, yeah. don't you? Yes. All right. Yes, sir. I sure do. How did you How did you enjoy? If you look back at it, how did you enjoy farming at that time? I loved it. Okay. I love farming. And the other question is now, how did you survive it? Well, some years we had good uh, crops and some years it had to all depend in the rain we got. The weather. As to how, how your crop turned out. Okay, you, you grew most of what you, what mm -hmm. you, what we you did. We did a lot. And we did until he got pretty. Yeah. He, he can't do it now. Now Carl does it in his spare time. He'll he'll fix a rose. We got two little old tiny rose of onions. Just to please him because he loves he loves the dirt. He lo he's always loved the dirt. Well, that's all right. Yes. If it wasn't for him and loving the dirt, folks like us wouldn't get good stuff. Right. Yeah. My dad farmed, and he he left the farm when I was about five years old. He was he was uh, born up between Tailmore and Dixie Union, yeah. up in there, and yeah. he's he's part of that. That Jordan crowd up there. I don't know where that hole oh, that is. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you didn't coon hunt anywhere up in there, did you? He liked well, fox hunting. Fox hunting, but not that far. I like to coon hunt. I like to fox hunt too. <laughs> okay. I had a cousin live right across the branch over there, and him and me would get up on a Monday morning to go fox hunting. On morning. Uh -huh. On a Monday morning. Okay. And when we'd get back, his, his daddy, boys, what in the world, yo, boy, if I can fuck something on a, on a Monday morning, don't you know there's work to be done? You can't uh, make no crop to have anything on fox hunting all the time. Yeah. yeah that's what his daddy said to him. Uh, he'd really yell it out. We just, we just laughed about him. Ma, were you born in Ware County? I was. Uh, no, no, no. I was born in Charlton County. In Charlton mm -hmm. County? I'm from the Spradley family. Oh. Lee Spradley and all worked on uh, in the garage in the radiator shop. Okay. So when I married him August the 24th in 62, 
we've been here ever since working together. Okay, well that's good. That's that good. Is, that is. We raised three boys, and our boys liked to hunt when they were small. Carl used to have... Hounds. He would coon hunt. <laughs> they, they, they've always lived on a farm and always enjoyed, you know. That's good. That's good. Around. That's good. Well, how uh, do you think Ware County is still the same as it was when you was growing up, or has it changed a lot? It's changed. Well, it's changed a lot than yeah. what it was whenever I was a young fella. Okay. Tell me some of the ways you think that it's changed, good or bad. Well, for the bad, they just, uh, I'm just going to put it like this. God's not pleased with the, with the way America's going. You know, back yonder years ago, God, God had his hand on America. You know, that kept it safe. But now, God's got his hand off of America, and you see where it's at, see where it's going. People's kind of pushing it off, ain't they? Yeah. yeah, and you know, locally, long time ago, when his parents was living, when we first got married, you could leave your door open at night. You could open your screens and go to bed and put a gas can on the front porch. And when you got up the next morning ready to use it, it'd be there. Yeah. It ain't like that now. Well, tell me what you did when you was growing up as a young boy. Well, I worked worked for Daddy. We, we grew to... He grew to had two acres of cane every year, and we ground cane for two months solid going. Really? Ex except except one day out of that two months, we had had to butcher fifteen head of hogs That's in one day. Mean. Yeah, you were busy that day, wasn't you? Well, well, we we we'd, we'd start early by by nine o'clock. We'd have them all hanging on the, the on the galleys out yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then it, it's a cold that I tell you what you couldn't get away from a fire it, thing, it, it, it was so cold <laughs> and that's now, right. now, now, now this is the truth it was so cold I tell when he butcher that hog you when you take him from the boiler to put him up on that gallus side there he was done froze he's standing still, still standing up still <laughs> stiff as a board all right. Well, tell me about this now. Did you go into town much? You go to the movies, or was movies around then? Did you go to yeah. tent shows, that yeah. kind of thing? There in Manor, Manor up here. There, there's a tent show there all the time. Every really? time wanted to want to leave on a Sunday evening, and another to come in right behind time he got it moved out. Another to put up his tent, having everything ready for Monday night. I'm going to ask you a real hard question now this time. When did you think he was grown? Oh, my. Well, I thought I was grown. I think at about 16, I began to, you know. You begin to stand by yourself? Yeah. But let me tell you, when his daddy, them boys all in one room, how many how many brothers was there in one room, Carl? Yeah, I was going to ask you how, yeah. many, how many brothers and sisters you had. Well, I got, had to, they were seven of us boys and one girl. And okay. She was just younger than me. And he okay. said when his daddy started down that hall, he could hear his daddy coming. He said he knocked on that door one time. All right, boys, time to get up. He said, you know, you better get up. Well, he won't. <laughs> and that ain't old. He better hear some feet on the floor. <laughs> 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 oh. He said... Got to get up and feed them mules. Uh, we got to get up. We got to get that cane going. We got to uh, keep that juice ground. When did you think you was grown? Oh, Lord, about probably about thirteen or fourteen. I back. I talked back to my mama one time, and I my daddy looked at me, and I knowed I better not do that no more. I can back understand. Then, back then, they'd tear you behind us. Now, now they haul child abuse. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I was, I was always, I was always afraid of my daddy. He didn't yeah. ever say much, and I, you know, I wasn't scared of him. No, but but you when know. he talked, you know, I kind of felt like it just thundered somewhere. You yeah, know, so I, 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 was, I was a little afraid of him. Now, Mama, I didn't pay her too much mind. But <laughs> <laughs> now it's different. Now I was the one that spanked the boys. Curly wouldn't. He, he wouldn't he do would that. He would talk to him. He would tell them. Right. But, but usually, if they was any spanking, throwing cereal at each other or anything, and wouldn't mind. 
then, then I'd have to do the pumping on the leg. And every now and then she'd have to spank you and get you straightened out. No, no, no. <laughs> no, she never no, did. Have no, to, no, no. She uh, never did. Have to head to all right, all right. That's just a little bit of that happened to her a little bit back. I spent the 53 days in the hospital. Did you? That's a long time, ain't it? Yeah, it is. I had a uh, Mercer and a UTI. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's bad. I don't know how to work on it. But you're doing all right now. You yeah, look like you're doing all right now. Yeah. Now yeah. You look like you're feeling pretty good. Well, and he does. He had a fight with the dermatologist on some bad places, but yeah. that's years of hard work in the summer. Well, it looks like it's getting better, though. It is. Yeah, it's doing yeah, yeah. a lot better. All right. All right. Well, how long y'all been married? All right. We've been uh, 24th of this past August. Made 60 years. And he spent it in the hospital. He was in the hospital in Valdosta. Right? Really? And, and then he had his 88th birthday in, over here in Homerville at Clinch County, at Clinch Memorial. And Carl's only son, Joseph, our only grandson we have, uh, come over there with, with a little birthday cake, cupcakes from Dairy Queen for Papa's birthday. You eat, that, you eat it too, do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I eat it. Uh -huh. yeah. Anyway, That's right. It was, yeah, so we, still, we, got a, we got a night out playing like Captain Joe. Well, somewhere. that's just great. Yeah. Oh, I think it's wonderful. Yeah, I, we I, still, still got to go out for our anniversary and my birthday, but we'll get around to it. There you go. Yeah, that's we something we look to forward to down yeah. the way. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, it's been really nice talking with you this morning. It's been a pleasure meeting you both. And uh, I hope we'll have the opportunity to get together down the road somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And you want to know how far back this cane grind has been going in the family? Yeah. Well, you told me, didn't you? No. And I didn't tell you no, how long tell ago. me. Tell me. Well, whenever I was just a young boy, I was four years old, I went out to the, I could go out to the cane mill in the morning at 4 o'clock in the morning, I had a big fire going. And I got too close to the fire, <laughs> got my bridge leg of fire, and Herman, my oldest brother, he had to run me down and out, get me out of the fire. But then, but then going on back, I, uh, the daddy was growing cane and making syrup whenever I was just a, just a boy, you know, I could do what I could remember he was making. I mean, but it goes further on back, that is my great grand, my grandpa. Yeah, uh, William, William Duncan James, he, he was growing. Was he from Ware County too? All of them yeah. from Ware County? As far as I knew. Okay. Then he was growing cane and making syrup back then. And then whenever he got where he couldn't do it, Daddy then, he started then making. So it goes back a long ways. Well, it wasn't just a hobby back then. Yeah. You had to sell it. It was part of part of your livelihood That's back right. then. That's right. That was part of the income. Yeah, yeah. So, so. Yeah, it was it part of the family. And, family if, out. and if you didn't sell it, you bartered it away somehow, you know, trying to get something out of it because right. that's what it took to live. Well, Daddy, he didn't have no problem of selling his uh, the syrup. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a bootlegger here every night waiting, <laughs> waiting to get it. <laughs> waiting on the next morning to get the <laughs> <it. laughs> Uh, Daddy sell the syrup so much that we wouldn't even have none for breakfast. <laughs> All right, that's good enough. Thank you so much. Tell thank you, thank you, thank you. Huh? Tell him, tell him why, why they got that syrup. Because you couldn't. Off the record. Because you couldn't. Uh, off the record, yeah, because please. Because you couldn't find sugar. Sugar, sugar yeah. Yeah, sugar was, sugar was rationing them. them See, right they to, yeah, the, 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 they couldn't get no. That's right. You know, I remember yeah, sugar yeah. being. Right. Yeah, they, you're right. Uh, you're right. I've forgotten yeah. about that. Yeah. 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 We need to stamps to buy stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they uh, <laughs> they, they didn't sell them that syrup. <laughs> they, they, like you said, he would be leaving people stuff for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Of what they're talking, we're talking like about. I say, there's a bootlegger waiting every night for 
Fire the barns yeah. all night yeah. and that kind of yeah. stuff. Fire it all night. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, uh, we done that. My wife was, well, but that, that time we started, Daddy got to the place he couldn't uh, do it no longer, couldn't mess with the tobacco. He yeah. turned it over to me. If I wanted to grow it, he says, you grow it and let it lay out and do what with it. So I, we went to uh, growing tobacco. My yeah, wife right. and me, we took it. And now, and now we pass it to our son. All right. Well, I think it's wonderful that he's keeping it going, and yeah, I hope it's still going to keep it going. And and it, yeah. And uh, it, the young people have no idea what, no, what they they're doing. And uh, at this time, we turn everything over to our sons. The two oldest two sons, no okay. Carl and Raymond. Well, I think that's wonderful that you're doing that. Got one in White Cross that has his own place, and his name is Richard. All Richard right. Jones. Now, if you don't mind, we're probably going to put most of this on uh, on the uh, YouTube. We'll 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 we'll, you know, we'll, leave, we'll try to leave the bootleggers in there too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell and you and what, we'll put they, it on there. They, they they look forward to it. But thank you so much for well, sharing it with us. It's been it's nice been talking to you, and we really I enjoyed it very much. Yeah.